everyone thanks for coming through to this channel today and thank you for coming through to this video we're going to have a go at painting this joyous bright and sunny sunshiny picture we're in the summer here in the uk so it's perfect for that now these do also come as paint kits if you wanted to stop me and then paint along you can order on my website if you're in the uk if not um if you as long as you're using colors similar to what i'm using you'll get along just fine um so when you get the kits, you'll get the board, you'll get a palette. Now I've made my own wet palette, it's just a sponge underneath that's wet with baking paper. This means throughout the whole video tutorial, everything will stay relatively wet, still and won't dry. If you're new to acrylics, they dry very, very rapidly. So um, it's really important to try. You can also have a mister, which you can spray. Um, that will help, just adding a little bit of water, but not too much, otherwise you'll break up the consistency of the paint. You'll also receive um, some brushes. You'll get some flats. You'll get two flat brushes. You'll get um, an angled brush. You'll get two rounds, and then you get a tiny little detail brush, okay? Um, there are student grey brushes, they are for you for learning so that you can do whatever you want with them and you're not risking ruining some high quality um, professional brushes or anything so um, just do what you want with them. Now um, obviously you'll also get all the paints, You, it, depending on what colours we use you'll have them in there in different amounts. Um, I always do these tutorials first before I do the kit because I like you to see me actually making the decisions and not just showing you like the perfect end result that I've already practised. I think it's really important you see what I'm doing as I go along. So let's get cracking. Um, I am going to use a palette knife. If you can get yourself a palette knife, they're not included in the kit, but if you can get them, it just helps with colour mixing. Now we're going to use the cyan blue first, and I'm just going to mix it in with some of that lemon yellow, because we're looking for a kind of aqua colour, like a greeny blue. And when we mix those two together, it does give us that nice aqua -y green more so when we add a little bit of white to it and we can keep adding the blue and the yellow until we're happy we've got more of that aqua blue green color that we want now you can see it coming out now okay so that's ultramarine and some lemon yellow and just keep popping them in and out add a bit of white as you go until you get the color you want now we're going to need two colors to start our background with first of all i don't want to confuse things and do too many different colors so what i'm going to do we're going to need a lot more of that so i'm going to make that first just wanted to make sure i got the right color how we wanted it before i started adding in too many more other colors so we'll mix that in. I'm probably going to need more than that. There we go. Okay, so get that kind of bluey colour, bluey greeny colour, and then we'll get a dollop of white. <laughs> I'm not sure what the official measurement is for a dollop of white. And we'll get it to that nice, nice... Oh, I love that colour. That's gorgeous. Okay, so now that we've got that, I'm just going to clean off my palette a little bit. I have a, like a little rag to the side here. And we're going to make up a medium yellow, which is kind of going to mix into it a bit. But it's where the sun is going to be. And I think what we'll do is we're going to keep that quite yellow, but we want a bit that's also a bit blended in on white and lighter because we're going to shade it down a little bit okay right so we'll probably need more of those colors as we go along but we'll make it as we go along it's fine so i'm going to grab first of all the largest flat brush that you have make sure it's wet but not too wet i always pull out a bit of the water first of all so this is the large flat brush that'll be in your set or obviously any flat brush that you have at home and we're going to start with the sky and the sunshine area and then we'll go down to the sea and sand but we're not going to worry too much about the sea and the sand to start with i just want to get on with the sky and um, yes we're going for an aqua sky because why not okay make sure you've got enough water on your brush so that you're spreading the paint around and getting it into the teeth of the canvas it's 
really important to do that and just enjoy slapping it on basically it's that's part of the process is just enjoying getting it down um, and just go for it so yeah if you have any other questions as we're going along please just put them in the comments because it will also help me steer my my lessons so that I can include what you actually want to learn um, further down just add a bit more of that blue that's it just a slightly bluer colour I think I want just adding a bit more blue now and I'm going to go over the top with some of that bluer green we, don't, we want it to be like the aqua green for the sky and it sounds strange but it's it's abstract so it doesn't need to be blue and we're just going to work our way down with that. So as I go down, I shall probably keep adding a bit of blue. But it's nice to get those little variations in anyway. But I just wanted it to be a little bit more of the blue than what we had. So I'm going to get a bit more. I don't recommend doing what I'm doing and mixing the colours with your brush in there. Because, I mean, you, you won't have it like that, but you will have the separate pots. I'm just coming down and mixing a bit of white in with that now because we need to lighten it up as it comes down to where the yellow is going to start from the sun. I'm really going to lighten it up by just putting white straight on the canvas there as we start coming down. And now that lovely aqua colour really starts to come out because we're adding the white in and it's more of the bluey aqua because we did a bit more of the blue in the end, didn't we? Okay, I'm just making sure that it's all into the tooth of the canvas. A bit more paint, a bit more water, I think, drying up. I can feel the brush catching on the canvas, which means it's too dry. Right, so from here now, I'm gonna wet dry my brush, wash my brush, sorry, wash and dry my brush. Make sure I've got all the paint off. And then I want to come in with the yellow. Now I'm going to start with the slightly lighter yellow. And we're going to just bring it along and push it in to that colour at the top. So it will become a little bit greeny. That's fine. It won't be green all the way down. But it's just as we blend those colours together, it will shift and become a little bit green but don't worry about that this will happen and it's supposed to okay so we've got this lovely nice bright yellow and then we're starting to come down into the slightly darker yellow just the pure mid yellow getting some more water on my brush as i feel it drying out we've got a little hair in there i do have studio cats and they do like to leave me their hairs so it's very difficult sometimes to not have paintings with them in <laughs> okay coming in there we go bit more want to make sure it is mostly yellow we don't want so much of that green now and here we are pretty much going to have a nice straight line so I think I'm just going to do it by hand because I don't feel as though we need to have a perfect perfect straight line going to wash that so just blended the colour back up again a little bit um, I think what I'm going to do is just do some more of this lighter colour here it just seems to be in one band and I don't want just one line of pale colour like, can you see there I can see it let's just blend that up a bit so I'm happy with that 
you know you could go over this a couple of times make sure you're getting it how you want but for the sake of this tutorial we're just going to crack on with the rest now for the water down at the bottom we're going to use aquamarine sorry not aquamarine ultra ultramarine i think it's called I forget this. Ultramarine blue. Um, you have to forgive my brain fog. I do suffer with brain fog because of fibromyalgia. And uh, I forget words a lot. So please bear, please bear with me. <laughs> um, I might try the mid yellow. See what happens there. I don't want it now. See, that's too plant green. We don't want that. We want, we want, we want it to be blue. Some white in what does it look like yeah that's not the right color is it so we won't do that one i'm kind of looking for this color but darker so maybe what we'll do is use the same blue but maybe just add more of that um, yeah that's fine i like that it's like still like in that tone of color but it's darker yeah perfect See, sometimes you mix a colour and it just doesn't come out how you think. Like, I'm quite tired today as well, so my brain is even struggling um, more than normal. So bear with me. Right, coming along. I want it to be straight, but it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. But it is the horizon, so it needs to be quite straight. What you can do is turn it round like that, and it makes it a lot easier to kind of get that straight line in. Now, what you can do is leave it to dry, put some masking tape on, and then it could be perfectly straight to how you want it. But I'm not too worried about that. Now what we're going to do is just add some white into that and we're really going to come in and lighten it up as it comes down. I'm just adding white straight on there now because why not? That's made me see that actually here where it is a bit darker, it's not straight as what I would like. So we'll go back over that in a minute with just the blue because we want it dark. That's better. I'm just trying to get it straight, that's all. Straight-ish is good enough for me. So, yep, yeah, then we'll come down with the white again and we're just blending that in with what's there. We still want it to be pretty dark at the back, but we're just going to blend it down to get this beautiful kind of light blue and then we're going to get some sand color for the bottom so what I tend to do for sand is I make an orange so I get a red and I get some yellow and I put far too much red out just get some orange Ooh. and then we lighten it with white now I'm running out of white here so let's just put a bit on this end so we've got nice sandy colour now and the more white you add the sandier it gets so let's just put some of that down remember it's abstract it's a sandy colour it's quite a strong sandy colour it doesn't matter there we go okay so we've got our basic colours down now and of course we can come along and change them as we want as we go along so hopefully you can still see that on camera right now this color here for me is possibly a bit too yellowy i'm going to make it a bit more orange because we've got that orange there so i want to use a bit of that i don't want it to be too orange let's lighten it up a bit that's fine and Gonna mix that in across that yellow very, very gently with my brush. 
Can you see how that's just changed it? Taking away the strength of that yellow, the power of the yellow that was coming through. And it's just now giving it more of that sunset feel. My brush is too dry at the minute, so it's not spreading. You need it's, it's when you're doing this and going over it, the back needs to be dry really before you add the colour. So otherwise it will stick. Okay. I'm happy with that. Now I'm just going to come in with some of this cyan blue just on its own and we're going to come across this top edge here. I'm going to dry it first. So I have a tool to dry mine. You can just use a hairdryer or you can leave it as it is. Now the bit I really want to focus on is the shoreline here, so I'm coming in, okay, and I just want to make sure that it's not too green at the back there and that it's more blue and then just bring it down so that it's not kind of just looks like it doesn't just like look like a line of blue at the back you see what I mean I'm just doing this on the edge because that way I know I'm getting it in the right place I'm just changing the direction and then going over it once I know I've got the paint where I need it a bit more there right up to the edge and then we'll just sweep it on there we go and we can bring some of those dark strokes down here that's absolutely fine just gives the impression of the 3D-ness of it being real. Okay, now here comes the fun part. Oh, actually, before we do that, we do need to draw in a sun because the sun is going to be very big. So for the sun, we do need some actual orange. Okay, I've swapped to the smaller flat brush and we're roughly going to find the middle Okay, so I would say about there, don't need to worry too much, and I'm going to come round, oh excuse my air pressure pump, it's for my flatbed press, it won't be long, it won't be on long, right, So I've dried that sun, we're not going to leave it like that, we're going to get some white and we're going to come around and kind of do the inside of it white, not completely white maybe but you know, we're going to give it that suggestion of white. Okay, need some more water on my brush, I'm just going to bring that around. Okay, and people talk about white hot, don't they? So the more you get to the centre of the heat source, it's whiter. So we're going to be white here in the middle as much as we can. Painting in the direction of the curve so that it feels real. If you paint that way, um, it will feel as though the sun is flat and straight. So we're going to paint in the direction and then it will kind of blend into each other 
okay we'll just have that kind of nice little halo of orange around it that's kind of why we put that in first so i'm just coming in to make a slightly better slightly better curve there with the paint and same here i don't really want to see too much of that canvas shape underneath i mean it is a canvas it's what it is but i just don't like to have the teeth of the canvas showing too much once I've painted. There we are. Now I have I need some more of that yellow because I don't oops no that's not gonna work because that's too light. I need to correct that bit there so I'm just gonna come in with that yellow. We could almost make like an extra halo around the sun there and then blend that out that's better than it was didn't really want that orange up there so that's kind of solved the solution solved it a little bit that paint is quite um transparent yellow is tra quite transparent so you need a few layers of it to make it absolutely yellow there we go perfect now I think what I'm going to do, um, yeah, I think I'll just dampen that down a bit, that orange, with some white as well, and kind of get it disappearing. Might put some yellow in there as well, because that will change it too, and kind of help to blend it into the background a bit more, rather than it just being that really stark line. Um, if we include, I mean, I do want that halo there, but you don't want it to be oops, too in your face as a separate line, if you see what I mean. So we're just going to go over that like that in the direction of our sunset. Now, you could do lots of things with this. You could have lines coming off it. You could have lines going further up, whatever you wanted to do. But this is just how I'm doing it. <laughs> and I might change things as we go along. Um, right. So now we're going to do the foreground, which is going to consist of foliage mainly. But we're not going to do it in normal colours. Of course not, because we are... We are... Um, having an abstract day why not we like a bit of abstract so i'm just going to get a new tray out so we can mix all the colors now for the foreground now i've kept the other colors to hand because i still might want to use them for the background i might want to go over it again so i'm undecided i haven't decided and it's also up to you you can make your own decisions too so um, there's no right or wrong we're just having some fun okay so um i don't know whether to do the black first or after i think maybe after right we're gonna go for a kind of um pinky peachy orangey feel so we're gonna get all we're gonna get some of the red out some of the magenta red which is like a pink out and we're just going to make some nice orangey fiery orangey pinky red colors let's see where we go so that is red with medium yellow so we've got a nice orange there i'm just going to get it all off my brush i normally mix with a palette knife but i'm just showing you with the brush because that's what you'll have in the kit if that's what you want to do okay so we've got the orange we really need some of this magenta i think i just want to have it on its own uh, but i think i'm going to try some of it with the red and i haven't got any white out let's put some white out and i don't want to i don't want to put too much white into things because i want to keep the vibrancy adding white can desaturate a little bit but I just want to see what colours we get. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm liking that, but just a little bit of the white. It's like, um, I don't know how to describe that colour. But it's it's like a, it's 
a pinky red. <laughs> I'm not sure how you would describe it. So, um, I also think I just want to have some yellow. So let's get some yellow on its own again. I think there's a bit in there. There's a bit of red in there, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's got the sense of yellow, hasn't it? Um, I do get messy with my brushes, I'm afraid, guys. Um, so, let's take all the paint off my brush, but get some water on there. I'm just umming and ahhing about whether to do the black straight away or not. I can't make up my mind. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the angle brush. I'm going to get some black paint on my angle brush. And what I'm doing, hopefully you can see, is I want to make sure I've got it on the end of my brush because I'm going to be using the end of my brush. Now I'm actually going to be drawing a big sweep like that, like a big C, and it's going to start about here and finish about, say, nearly halfway down and about an inch in from your canvas. I'm just going to put a little dot there and it's just kind of going to sweep round, okay? Now we might not do it in one go, which is fine, um, but yeah, just just kind of have that sweeping motion in mind. That then just gives us an idea because that's in the foreground and it's basically a branch that is coming all the way over from the other side. Okay, and we've done it in black because the centre of it will be black. Well, it will be a mixture of black and pink in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lines in for all of the, the main ones that are coming to here. I'm kind of feeling like, because I'm using the black, that I want to map that out first. So we're going to put your next one is starting just this side of the sun, nearly at the top, but not quite, and almost coming down. And we're going to kind of just leave it there as though it's meeting the, the tree that they're both coming from. And then there's another one here which is a bit bigger and coming to there. It's coming down actually and meeting here. Um, and then there's a really large one, which is all the way down the page. And it comes down like this and comes down here. I think I may have come out a bit further than I wanted, but that's okay. Um, and then there's all sorts happening down here. Now, because it's abstract, we can get away with using black like this because abstract, you can't just do what you want. Then there is another one that's just about coming up to the sea, but not quite. And then it comes to here. So we are literally just mapping out the, the, the centre of any leaves that we're going to do. And you can go around and do them one at a time once you've watched the whole thing. But I tend to like getting everything in position. Now... Up here, we've kind of got a plant that is a lot of black. So we're going to do that first. And then the pink is in the background. Um, and they all tend to meet down the middle here. So I'm going to put in like a bit of a dark centre to the plant, which is just down the edge here. And it actually comes all the way down. Okay. So we're coming all the way down. Don't be perfect about it. Don't make it like one thin black line. It needs to be in and out a little bit because it's a plant. It's it's real. Okay, it's a living thing and nothing's perfect. So then we are just going to use the angle brush. Hopefully you can see. And we're going to come and make kind of just leaf marks using the shape of the brush. And they're kind of going to further, come further and further out. I'm going to do, I think, the one that's like the furthest out about here. Now, they will come further out. I need to thicken that up a bit. Um, with the pink. The pink's going to be on the edges of it, as you can see from the picture of the final, final piece. You'll be able to see that there. Um, this this also, this black will really make the pinks kick, you know, they'll have a real punch to them. Um, let's do this one coming down further to about here. 
make it a bit lumpier it's fine don't forget we're just blocking in at the moment and so you might be looking at at this and thinking oh well that just looks a hot mess it's not i mean it is but it's not it won't be so just run with it keep going um make that come down like that and right so we've got that one there then we need to come round and do like a big one here that then also leads into another one here and just comes down like that. We're just kind of putting lines in here. I need some more water. When the paint's not going on very well, get some water on your brush. Okay, so I'm just going to fill this bit in black because this will all be black. Um, and I'm just kind of guiding this shape round we'll be adding colour to it eventually anyway okay so we've got most of the shape in for that side and there is another plant that is just here but it is it doesn't have much of a black centre but I will let's give it one anyway let's put it in there just to make sure might do the whole shape yep yeah, so what we'll do is we'll do the whole shape of this one because actually the silhouette is the black and it's the the pink inside that is going to be the actual color of the plant so if we get it all black then we can just put in the color really easily just more leaves poking out and another one down here And I'm just going to like have one that's curling over here a bit. That's okay. And I think because I've done the blacking in over here, I think I'm going to do the same over the other side as well. So I'm just going to get a load of black and we're just going to go for it. So this plant actually came all the way up to here, onto the sun, just. I think we'll just add in some petal leaf kind of shapes. I'm just wiggling my brush down and just using the curve of the angle brush really to define some fun little leaf-like shapes coming round and down and eventually just down to the bottom. Okay. Same here, so just using the brush for the leaf shapes, it's so good the angle brush for that. Some of them will be bigger and sweeping down and some of them will not be very big at all. Okay, now when we put the brighter colours on top it will make much much more sense. Right here we've kind of got, I think we'll put a leaf there. And then here we've just kind of got a bit of overgrowth, just a little bit. And we're just dabbing that in. Okay, just getting some more water on my brush. So again, if you are enjoying this, please do subscribe to the channel, um, like the video. Um, it really helps the algorithm right now this one here is literally just shapes like this okay so make sure the paint is on the end of your brush and just use it to make the shapes for you okay And just do that all the way down. Obviously, do them in different places. We don't want it looking too perfectly neat. Um, yeah, and just do that until you're happy with that one. Right, the next one here, this big long one, that's nearly all pink. So I'm not going to do much with that there. Um, and then this one here does need to be mostly black to start with. So 
from here we've got like this will be like quite a big leaf shapes lots of leaf shapes remember to have them coming um, around in different directions you don't want them all in the same place or the same thickness so just think about that and then don't forget to kind of do that to the other side but kind of bigger just because this will this is tucking underneath and the top bit here is more ripply with the the leaf edges it's almost like you can feel them just wriggling in the sun and the wind um yep and we're just going to do that a few times until we get to the end okay and then underneath again we're still going to come down i think i want to do some bigger bigger marks here um, just make sure you've got that covered in don't worry too much if it's not because we will be coming back anyway kind of have one that splits into two there couldn't we more water on my brush more paint and I'm just going to bring that round here now as we come to the end now here behind what will be this plant there's loads of um kind of big big strokes so although this is going to be a pink leaf in a minute we just want to get some of those in as well basically we're just building up that feeling of foliage and i know it's black and dark at the moment but it will get better so now we're just going to come in and put the shape like the outline shape of these ones in and again they just come to here and this then is almost where they all meet and we can paint that in all the way down okay so still just using your angle brush we want to do the underside which is a bit more pokier okay we'll get maybe that one in there and um, maybe another one just coming round and then one just kind of turning that way a little bit um, and then this up here um, is there's not much really to see on that one so we'll just kind of just wibble a bit wibble a bit in and then up here in the background is also just a few more little kind of tree spiky marks as we come down okay now i'm going to dry all that and we can start putting in the lovely peachy summery colors Now I know what I haven't done and I haven't really come high enough with these. I realised it was too low so I really want to come up and kind of create these big wave leaves. That's better. And then we can come down as we get to here. Perfect. Remember, you can just um, do whatever you want for your outline of different petals and things. Once you've watched the whole video and you do your own, you can think about how you want it. Just change it to how you want. So we're going to start, I think, I'm not going to have any red on its own. And I really liked this with the two reds mixed together with some white. This is going to be probably most of the main colour. So we're going to come in with this on top of the black. We're going to have to do probably quite a few layers and that's OK. Um, and then we're just starting to take away some of that black 
and bring some gorgeous summery colours in. Remember, this is completely abstract, so just have fun with it. Okay, now I'm going over where that black line was, but we'll be leaving some of it there. We want to see some of that black line still. More water on my brush, I can feel it drying up. So I think we need to mix quite a bit more of that colour. Now I think I've decided what I want. So we'll bring some of that down. Okay, so red, magenta red, and some white. We'll need a lot more white than that, but let's just get it mixed properly first. Yeah. Lovely. Let's get some more. We don't want it too white, as I've said before, because it will desaturate. Basically, we'll take a lot of the pigment back and it will make it a pastel colour. And we don't really want to have a pastel colour. So again, I'm coming back to where I've already been. I'm just kind of going over it. If it hasn't dried, just leave it. Get some more water. Always make sure there's enough water on your brush. And I'm kind of going to leave a little bit of black there. We're leaving a little bit of a black outline, if you can kind of tell, which is why I did the black first. So there's a little halo of black around the whole thing. I want to try and get the point of my brush, um, but it's, it was a bit full of paint. So if you want to get a point. So now we're going to come down and put that colour in as well in the bottom and bring that round. So petal there, I say petal, petal and leaves are kind of very similar shapes. There we go, and we're bringing that over and down. And again, we're just trying to leave a bit of the black, like a halo, and then we're gonna come back and put some black into the middle because we've lost some of that. Isn't that lovely, that pink? I love it, it's like a really vibrant, summery, pinky red. Okay, so as we're coming into like the final layers, hopefully now you can start to see the painting coming to life. Um, so with this one up here, this one's gonna be a bit more of the orange in it. I'm gonna start just down the bottom filling in some of the colour with that. I'm going to get that off my brush as much as I can, dry it off and then I want to come in with a bit of orange. Now we're okay to kind of start blending that in. Yeah and you can see then the change of colour from that orange into the pinky colour. We're going to come over and draw in the black lines of the leaf on top once we've done the colours, okay? But to get that halo, I think it's just best we did the black first. And it really doesn't matter what shapes you have because once you put the line down the middle and draw in the lines of the leaf, like the veins of the leaf, you'll be fine. So I'm going to draw some orange on that one. Do you know what I haven't done? I've just realised, now I've got another angled brush, I'm just going to put that in the black. I haven't done the one that's kind of just coming round the top and uh, I don't want to miss that one out because I think that really helps to make it. It just kind of frames it even more, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> so, let's come on here and down. Down. So we're just putting some kind of leafy petal shapes in that come down this way and kind of guide us almost down to the other one and down into the sun. Can't believe I nearly forgot the bit that I wanted to do at the top there. Okay, so uh, yes, coming in with the orange. Now, this here is a plant that we haven't drawn in yet because 
I just wanted this one to be mostly just its own colour. Now it has a tinge of orange on the outside edges. So I'm putting the orange in first and then it kind of just disappears away. So I'm putting that in first. I'm keeping it kind of on that strand and then I'm going to come in with the pink. And I'm keeping the orange on my brush because we can mix it in just fine. Now it's going to be all pink on this side. Don't forget we'll draw the line down the middle in again with the black and be super, super careful with that. And we'll draw the veins of the leaves in as well. So don't worry, just kind of get the colour in if you can. We want that nice pinky, pinky colour in there. We want to get right up to that line. Be careful, the, color don't, the colours don't mud. We want them to mix, but if they're mudding, leave it, let it dry and come back. We don't want it to look like mud. So we're going to come in with that one and bring more of that pink in. We're just going to give a little bit more shape to this side. A bit more water on my brush and there. Okay, we're just bringing it down. It's kind of going to go off the page at the top there. Now we need a lot more pink here and we need to bring the vibrancy of the orange back with another layer. It just gets lost a bit on the black, the orange, it disappears a bit. And we don't want that, we don't want that at all. Right. So this one up here is pretty much all pink. We did put some orange up there, but I really want that to be pink. And don't forget, we can keep coming over the top of them until we're happy. I'm actually going to bring a bit of pink down there. That's all black. We'll go over that again with the black. Right, so we're coming down with this one. This one's definitely got lots of pink on it. And you just, just put it where you want to put it. And kind of just make sure you're creating movements that are in line with the direction of the plant itself, yeah? You don't want to be... If the plant's coming down this way, you don't want to be painting like that. Is all I'm meaning. <laughs> Get my words right today. Right. Don't forget, we can come in afterwards and uh, we, we can go over our colours. We've just got to let the layers dry each time and keep coming back to them. So I'm going to do this one. I need to get that pointing done. And just going to keep adding as we go. kind of joins in with the black but it doesn't mix in on this side so we're just creating a little bit of difference and we can have them coming out further than some of those black ones and here and let's just do that with there and then this is like a completely separate leaf all on its own and in here I'm going to put some of our sea blue colour in I think just to bring some of the blue back into the foreground so let's get some of that off I've kept the colour behind so we're just going to put that in here and So I get my ideas usually from 
um, Creative Fabrica, if you've never seen or heard of it. So I pay for like a monthly subscription. And basically it gives you the copyright to use the designs as long as you're not reselling the actual design. And then you've got the, um, I can do whatever I want with them and paint away. So if ever you're looking for painting ideas, just go on there. Hopefully you're feeling as though it's coming together now. If you're watching for the first time or if you're painting along, you can feel that progression happening. So I'm going to come in with the orange now. Everything's kind of dried. Um, I'm going to lighten it up a bit. I think I want it to be much lighter. Not quite the same as the yellow, but certainly lighter than it was. And we're just going to come down there. That's better. And create that kind of sense of a little bit of a halo around that bit. I'm smudging it in a bit. And then here, I'm just going to come in and do some lines that kind of show where these parts are. Because this is kind of the main leaf and we want to just make sure we get this one right. So it's just like highlights coming in. And then I do want the darker orange a little bit so we can have the darker orange underneath that. Just a little bit, not too much. I want the rest to be rest of it to be really really pink okay um so we need to go up to the top here which is possibly this lighter version a bit i think let's go for that yeah that's nice really nice and light and vibrant now and we're just coming around and creating kind of getting them to join in a little bit um, here I just think I want a little bit of a highlight up there, don't need too much going on there. Um, we haven't done anything on this one yet, so let's put some highlights in and then we'll get some of that pink in as well. Let me just clean my brush, get some of the pink in. And here. Don't forget we come over the top of it with the black again to bring back like the line that was there. Okay. Um, I want to make this pinkier. Trouble with the pink going on the black, which I knew is what would happen. It's why I was questioning myself at the beginning. Should I do it that way or shouldn't I? is because it does disappear but it's okay because you can just go over the top of it again it's absolutely okay and again so i need to come over on these and i need the point of the front of the brush so i need to kind of make sure i've got that point there there we go Just going over the colours I've already put down, making sure that they're as vibrant as I want as I want them to be. So you can figure out how you want to do that on yours. Um, the more layers you put down, the more it will cover up the black and become more and more vibrant. I think I just want to make it like a quick point there. That's it. Um, down here, of course, this one I've, I've only just done. 
And I'm just going to bring that right down there. Bit of pink. I think that's pretty much it for the pink. So I'm going to come over some areas again with the lighter orangey colour that we had here. And just to make sure I've got them how I want them. More white, I think. Let's get it even whiter. Um, it's okay when you're doing highlights to make sure that you've got that. I'm going to wibble that a bit just to give the, the edge of that a little bit of a wibble. And don't forget, we're going to come over everything with the black again. Whoops. I put that straight in the white. Actually, it looks nice. I'm going to do that on a few things. There we go. Let's really lighten up some of those areas not just with the yellow but with the with the white just some of those tips there lovely okay now it's time to come in with the black and we're being very very careful with the black now because we don't even want to do it um otherwise it will take away from all the lovely colors that we've put down but we do need to repaint in all the veins so get the paint on your edge as much as possible and just press really lightly and come around to bring that vein of, of the plant all the way back in again so i've missed a bit there okay so make sure you've got it kind of on the end of your brush and then we're just going to curl some marks round as though they are the veins leading into the leaves um, and that's it really just going to do it on all of them now the top side is obviously a bit paler um, and that's just because um, the sun comes from above doesn't it so and actually it's abstract so we can do it however we want <laughs> right okay now we're going to do the same here bring the middle back in ever so carefully bring it all the way down and then what we need to do is make sure we've got enough paint just on the end make sure all our bristles are making the edge kind of nice and neat and then we can come in and create all our little marks Put them in different places make them longer shorter but as long as they're in there we're bringing back a little bit of that just make sure the bristles on the ends are stuck together so that they give you nice thin lines otherwise they'll start to spread out and then it makes it a bit thick and we don't really want thick veins on our plants okay that's that one done and then we're just going to come through and kind of do it on all of them just to give that sense of shape we don't need to be too fussy about it when it's all the others this one definitely needed to be this one i am going to come over the outside a bit again as well um, just because i feel as though it wasn't quite how i wanted it it was looking a bit too, um, I don't know, uniform really. Right, I'm going to come in with the black now, which will help to um, make it look a bit less uniform, give everything some veins. So here we need to come in again. We need to make sure we've got black going all the way around the outside. And that there's some black going over the blue. There we go. I'm quite surprised I haven't been interrupted today. Not by the postman, not by my son, not by my phone. I shouldn't tempt fate, should I? Probably going to go off now. Okay. Um, yeah, so now I just have to do down here a little bit, but not too much. 
I don't really want too much black here but we need to go over the outlines again because the outlines go a little bit as well when you put those highlights down but I want to have that little black silhouette now we have this coming down and then this one I'm going to use the edge of the brush and just kind of flick out from both sides like that it's kind of like um, a misty center of that plant just to change it up a bit because why not and yeah I'm just going to come in and finish spiking up this little corner here and put that there because that needs to be outlined um just want to fill in this here just so that it's a plant that's going off the page so I'm just going around whilst I've got black on my brush and making sure that everything is filled in with black as much as it needs to be as in it's covering over the underneath paint so here for instance I need to come in and make sure that that's vibrant like those ones at the top are because I filled those ones in as well let's get that done bit of water on my brush it's not going down very well there we go it makes such a difference just don't have a dry brush I'm terrible for painting and painting and then thinking oh the paint's not going on <laughs> why is that well it will be because because you haven't got enough water on your brush okay I'm pretty happy with that right what I think I'm going to change though is that that white was too white and not yellow enough and I think I'm going to dry it and come over with a pink because actually I don't like it so let's cover that up let's get it dry letting the team down a bit so let's fill it in as though it's actually one giant leaf or plant over here okay that's better I can still come over the highlight with that one if I want to but this time I'm just going to keep it really close to the edge and I'm going to keep it yellow, I'm not going to put any white on. I quite like the little bits of white on there because it really focuses the attention. But I don't want the attention to be focused here, so. Okay, just a nice little outline. And I know that's not real to life, but remember this is abstract. I'm just having a bit of fun. So I'm going to come into the middle here. I really want to whiten that up a little bit more than it is. And remember, we're going in the direction of that circle there. And we can obviously have some little lines of white if we wanted to here in the water. If you want to do that, you can do that. Okay. Um, I want to go a little bit abstract in the sand as well. So I'm going to just smudge in some sandy little waves like that because why not and you can leave it as it was or you can do what I'm doing it's up to you but remember it's um we're doing abstract so you can do whatever you want um and sometimes you can do um some changes at the end and it kind of ruins the whole thing so be careful it's easy to do I think I'm going to stop there because I'm very happy with how that is at the moment and we don't want to ruin it um, but what I will do is come in now with I think some of this brighter pink and just finish off some of those pinky areas now that we've let because the magenta is quite transparent 
Um, so because we already laid down lots of the pink areas, now when we put it on, it's got a good surface to land on and we'll really see that pink popping out. It's a, such a great pink. I mean, it's supposed to be magenta red, which it is, but it's magenta red is on the pink side. Uh, so we'll do the same over here. Oops, I think I didn't do another layer on that one, so that one can be really pink. And we'll just come over. I don't want to go over all of them because I like the colours that we have, but there's no harm in just introducing that pink back in on its own. Don't want that much on my brush in some places. Yeah, because it is such a lovely, vibrant colour. So I'm just going to add that into that one a little bit for fun. Why not? Put a bit down here. And I think that's it. What I am going to do with this black, I keep saying and I think that's it. And then I step back and then I'm just going to come over this a bit more. I want it to be a bit more sort of thickened, outlined black rather than wispy. If you see what I mean, but no, I haven't done the veins down here. I've just left like this fiery shape here. It needs veins. It needs leaf veins. There we go. That's a bit better. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to have a look from a distance. Yeah, it's good. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do is play around with that sun. I really just want to get some pure white in the middle. Um, that's it. But that's what I wanted. I wanted it to be really white. And then just smudge that out a bit to the outside. I'm happier now. I didn't really want a yellow sun. I wanted it to be white, but just have like that little halo around it. So I am much happier. Of course, you can have it any colour you want. If you want to keep it yellow, keep it yellow. Um, I'd say that's probably it for today. Let's bring actually a little bit of this in on this one because there's none. There we go. <laughs> am I done? I'm going to say I'm done. So again, please do subscribe to the channel. You can buy the paint kits if you're in the UK and follow along. I do suggest you watch the whole thing, even if you kind of skip fast forward, just so you know what's coming and when. It'll help you when it comes to mixing your colours and keeping up with the final attempt that you have a go at. Um, yeah, so please subscribe, like, comment, share, all those lovely things. Click the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.